Hey there, I know we've been using a lot of gimmicks in our recent reviews, so I figured for this one, let's just keep it simple. <sighs> Never mind. Hello all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and it feels like the new Batman movie up in here. Hello all, I'm Vengeance, this is Vengeance Build Stuff. Today we're talking about Vengeance. No, today we're talking about the new Dark Trooper hallway scene, Dark Trooper Battle Pack. What's the actual name of this set? I don't know, I don't have the box, and I couldn't read it if I did. It's very dark in here. This set just released at the beginning of March. It is a clear indication that Star Wars battle packs are back and more expensive than ever, though nothing is a clear indication in the room in which I'm currently sitting because it is, again, very dark. But this is a $20 set, which basically means you're paying $5 per minifigure, which, in my opinion, is the exact price of what a minifigure costs. Maybe it's the CMFs that put that idea in my head. Maybe I'm just indoctrinated in the LEGO Star Wars world. All I can see is that these... I can't see anything. Uh, the minifigures are $5. I bought this set while traveling, so I no longer have the box, but here's what it looks like for those of you who are interested. As for these actual Dark Trooper minifigures, I'm a fan, man. Like, I bought that big Moff Gideon's light cruiser from last year. I didn't actually open it, so I guess I didn't want the Dark Troopers in it that much, but I'm willing to open a $20 Dark Trooper set because, look, now I got them. If I may steal the opinion of, like, my four-year-old, he's like, I don't know what these little things are, but I like them. So I'm kind of, I'm on board for that. On a related note, I'm trying to finish the Rebels TV show because I want to watch it before Ahsoka comes out and before Obi-Wan comes out, and, like, in a random episode in season three or something, there were, like, early renditions of Dark Troopers, and I was like, hey, Mandalorian totally ripped off these things. Unless, of course, they're made by the same creator, in which case, hey, that guy's reusing old ideas. In addition to the three sweet looking dark troopers in this set, we also get Luke Skywalker who is the man. Man. I don't actually care about this minifigure much, but I do care about the context in which this character showed up in the show. That was not spoiled for me. I was so hyped. I was so stoked. The second the X-Wing flew into frame, I was like, I know who it is, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. But I got my hopes up a little bit and I was not disappointed. You can obviously see here that I've already misplaced a pretty important piece of this set. Luke Skywalker is missing his lightsaber. That's just another casualty of having kids play with your sets. Like I said, my kids think this set is really cool. I keep telling Luke, hold on to this. This thing is your life. Or whatever the line is, Obi-Wan says. Oh wait, here it is. I've seen a lot of really innovative creators out there extending this set, making the hallway larger, adding more Dark Troopers and more Luke Skywalkers. That part doesn't make as much sense to me. I'm thinking of going the opposite direction, downsizing. I think I may get rid of the hallway part altogether. Just keep the minifigures, because that's the only reason I bought this set in the first place. Heck, I might make that even smaller. Get rid of the minifigures with it. Really, really downsize this set. I do appreciate the LEGO tried to squeeze a couple of play features into this little quote-unquote battle pack. It's got a little slidey spot for one of those Dark Troopers. It's got a little spinny spot for that Luke Skywalker. It's even got an elevator, which usually takes things to the next level, but not this one. This elevator is a bit of a letdown, and where an actual elevator would literally let you down, this one, it just does so figuratively. As it stands, this just spins, so it's more of a rotativator than an elevator, but if we put Darth Vader in our rotativator, we could rotate a Vader in our rotativator, but I do wish it went up and down, then I could elevate a Vader in my elevator, then he could really rise to the occasion, but I guess Darth Vader can take the escalator, though I hear he's suspicious of escalators because they're always up to something. You think if Darth Vader does construction projects, he uses an excavator? Okay, I'm done. What am I doing? I haven't even shown you my favorite part about this set. It's this right here. Nice, huh? Also, if you're watching this in a dark room with your phone or tablet held close to your face, I'm sorry. Uh, running out of things to say in the dark and about these dark troopers here. Um, oh, I have an idea. That wasn't it, but I guess that kind of works. That's a flattering angle for you. Right, overall, about this little set, I think it's worth picking up if you want a bunch of these little dark trooper minifigures and you're willing to pay about $5 each for them, which I think we've proven we all are. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. You want to hear what my great new idea was? Oh no, I just forgot what it was. Oh, that's right. Um, I want to invent a lighting system that you can control using the clapping of your hands. Something like a clapper. Man. That is a great idea. I'll see you next time.